लेकिन मैं Sözlük Nutrition The Illinois yeah. Secure Yeah, The UN or you boost against the evil as we in the uh, in two slums. All pleasure is uh. to her prom's government. Or they might six that now the lady um her secretary she said oh my god this is an assassination and she started screaming assassination i mean i'm hoping that that accent is not a chinese thing to get her in u.s when I got to the hospital, there were like 10, 15 people waiting outside. One of her small, you know, bones in her you know, spine broke. And uh, the doctor basically said if the spine broke, then she would be paralyzed. She would have been paralyzed. But luckily, thank God, just a small bone. And I thought, if she stops talking, I mean, I, I, I thought a lot of things, but what happened to our cause, well, what would we do? We felt it was really an attempt to kill her. On Capitol Hill, Congressman Tom Lantos invited President Bush and Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice to a dinner to support the Uyghur's case.
still recovering from her injuries, Rebia wasn't going to miss this opportunity. Thank you. She can never sit in one place without doing anything. She has to be busy. And I cannot imagine how she spent that six years in jail. I really can't imagine that. <laughs> While many supporters showed, President Bush and others did not. Here is a woman with the courage of her convictions. She has been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize, which she so richly deserves. Rebia's Nobel nomination was her recognition for speaking out in the U.S. Inevitably, China would be provoked by Rebia's growing international regard. June 1st, 2006. Children's Day in China. Rebia's children and grandchildren decided to have a picnic in the countryside of Xinjiang province. Waiting for them were 50 police officers. My mom called and said, well, your brothers got arrested. Rebia learned that four of her children were jailed. Her youngest son, Alim, was sentenced to seven years for tax evasion, while her son, Ablikim, was sentenced to nine years for conspiracy to commit acts of terrorism. Without delay, Rebia organized a demonstration outside the Chinese embassy in Washington to bring world attention to her children's arrest. Next stop was Radio Free Asia, which broadcasts unfiltered news by radio and internet into China. <laughs> Barak <gülüyor> 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 